Traditionally, honeymoons are a chance for the newlyweds to grab some alone time together. But Gwyneth Paltrow invited along her ex-husband Chris Martin and his new love Dakota Johnson to join her and new husband Brad Felch on their trip to the Maldives. Reflecting on what she has dubbed her firmly moon, she shared a picture of her ex-love and new husband while talking to Kate Hudson and Goldie Hawn as they filled in for Ellen DeGeneres on her show. Gwyneth laughed, yup, that's my two husbands. They're friends. It was Kate who like Gwyneth has a blended family, who brought up the family moon. It was a different kind of honeymoon? She asked Gwyneth. The Goop founder smiled and then listed who joined her on the trip. My new husband, myself and his two children and my two children, and a family that we travel with a lot and their five children, and my ex-husband. The picture was then displayed, to which Goldie and Kate nodded approvingly, telling Gwyneth, cute husbands. Kate who has three children by three different men, sympathized with Gwyneth's modern-day lifestyle. It's all about the kids isn't it, she said. And when you can really learn to put aside every single thing, all the pain because there is pain obviously. It's really healing. Goldie Apple waited her daughter and Gwyneth on putting the wishes of their children first. The duo also shared pictures of Kate's youngest child, her daughter Renee Rose. Talking about the three-month-old's birth. Kate revealed her mother got a little too close to the action. I ended up getting a walking epidural, and then during the actual pushing, it was, quick. The doctor was amazing. But mom, once again, she was right in there. Getting up from her seat, 73-year-old Han reenacted the moment she met little Renee. The doctor, was sort of like this, leaning down, doing the thing. And I'm trying to get in on him to try to look over his shoulder she said. Now I see the head and I'm going, oh. There's the head. Then it went back, and he said, Goldie, if you get any closer, you're going to fall in.